Hello again, welcome back to What Once Was. I've been out yard sailing again, as you can see, and I'm going to show you what I picked up this week. I think I've been pretty good, actually. Starting off really simply, uh, PlayStation or PSP World Championship Poker. It's complete, it's like new condition. Instructions and disc and everything are in here. It's not worth much, but it'll trade well. So for a dollar, it was worth picking it up. Sealed movies, two Batman serials, a really odd looking uh, Liza Minnelli fairy tale from like the 60s or something, and one step beyond, a dollar a piece, sealed condition, probably worth about 12 to 15 each. Fiesta Wear salt and pepper shakers with the uh, stoppers intact, no chips or cracks. Two bucks for the pair and also probably worth about 12 to 15. The Game of Perfection, you remember this? By Milton Bradley and the pieces are inside. They're in the little door there and I paid a dollar for Perfection. It works. And Perfection can get you loose complete around thirty dollars a vintage Irwin drill bit set and these are 24 inches long in a leather carrying case and I paid nine dollars for it and it's hard to say it could be fifty to seventy five dollars for the set because there are a lot of people that collect vintage tools and accessories and this is pretty unique actually I'm not sure what kind of bits those are precisely but I do know that vintage uh, drill bit sets can go for quite a lot when you can find them in good condition mini and goofy Disney cookie jars really excellent condition I paid ten dollars a piece for these and they probably would go for about 40 to 50 a piece loose like this without the box I say almost 50 really because the holidays are coming up so you can get a little bit more for them than normal otherwise I'd say about 35 40 but I'm saying 40 to 50 because of the holidays and it, it, it would be worth more in other other arrangements but you know selling it online you have to factor in shipping of course and they'd have to be seriously overpacked because they are ceramic and therefore fragile and you've got to be really careful about packing things like that so the shipping is going to be a lot now this I'm cheating a little bit with this one because this actually came from a thrift store I know I haven't done a thrift store uh, finds video in a little while but this is a rigid wet dry vacuum shop vac and it's unused it's unused condition without the box 1999 so a little more than twenty dollars for it after tax and new this is about hundred and fifty dollars and used condition I've seen them go for around eighty to ninety this is new without the box so it's worth at least the uh, used value price 80 to 90 so for twenty dollars for that that's not bad at all so overall once again I think I did pretty good I don't have a whole pile of stuff so I haven't had much time to really dig my heels into the garage sale shopping on the weekends but all in all I think I do pretty well